This video is sponsored by Tall Man Toys and Comics. Do you guys remember the movie Mighty Joey Young? If you guys don't know what this movie is, I'll try to be nice. Mighty Joe Young was a remake of an old 30s movie that was kind of like King Kong, but Joe is a good monkey, and he wouldn't hurt anybody. But also like King Kong, he goes on a rampage. There's a lot of similarities to both this and King Kong, but I will compare the movies someday in the near future. Now, I have not seen the original 1930s or 40s version, but I have seen the Disney remake, and personally, I think it's very underrated. While not a perfect movie by any means, Mighty Joe Young has the good strengths of a good Kong film. It's got some good special effects that were made from the time, it's got some really solid acting, some good dramatic moments, it's even got some fun action. But sadly, back when the film was released, it was a box office bomb. Which is kind of a shame because you would think for a movie like this it would be a success. But it wasn't. But why is that? How could something as really solid as Mighty Joe Yum become such a box office bomb and end up into obscurity? Look, I know I've already talked about this movie on my old channel, but number one, my channel, my old channel is not going to last very long, so if you want to watch that video, I recommend checking that out. And number two, I would just like to go into more detail as to how this film bombed and how it ended up into obscurity. So, today, I'm going to give you guys four reasons as to why I think Mighty Joe Young ended up as a box office bomb. Number one, the release. Originally, Mighty Joe Young was supposed to be released in the summer of 1998. But unfortunately, Disney changed the release date from summer 1998 to Christmas of 1998. This is bad for the movie because not only was the original poster saying summer 1998, but advertisements even said the movie was supposed to be released around that time. And what's even worse is that when this film came out, this movie had to face a lot of competition with other movies, which made it fly under the radar. It's like if Disney needed more time to find a perfect time to release it. Unfortunately, Disney wasted all their time just trying to find a good release date for it. So one of the reasons might have been because it just came out at a bad time. Number 2 the marketing. This is one of the bigger reasons as to why this film bomb, but when it comes to the marketing, I can barely find any advertisements online. I mean, there are a couple of trailers and some Disney Channel promos, but that's really about it. It looked like nobody saw the advertisements at all. Maybe if Disney had a better marketing strategy and maybe it would have gotten more attention, it could have been successful, but you know, that's just me. Number three, the Dark Age of Movies. According to a video from Nostalgia Critic, films from 1996 to 2003 were not doing very well. Moviegoers, whenever they go see a movie, were always disappointed and critics and fans would hate the movie that they saw. And when this movie came out, it got mixed reviews, so nobody could tell if this movie was good or bad. And when you have a reception like that, people are not going to know if they want to see this film or if they do and that would lead to the confusion. Not to mention, the critical reviews were very limited and not many people, not many critics were talking about it. So nobody knew what, to, what would think, nobody would think of this film. Now, granted, things have gotten better in the past few years, but even then, the movie would not have been a big hit if released in the late, early 2000s. And for my fourth and final theory, monster movies around that time. During the time when this film came out, monster movies were not seen as big monster hits. I mean, there was one that was successful at the box office once in a while, but at the end of the day, most of them kind of sucked. The reason why I bring this up is because Mighty Joe Young is technically a monster movie, obviously, but the difference is that unlike those movies, Mighty Joe Young was actually made to be a kid's film. Now, if you watch the film, it is technically kind of dark, but, you know, 
when you really watch the trailers, one trailer thinks that it's going to be like your average every monster movie around that time, and then the other trailer, it shows that it's going to be your typical Disney family film. And when people see those trailers, it would add into the confusion. So Mighty Joe Young just didn't know who the target audience was for. Now granted, monster movies have gotten better over the time, but then again, that's just how things are. So, overall guys. Maybe if Mighty Joe Young was released at a better time, like maybe later around the 2000s decade, it probably would have been a bigger hit. But then again, that's just me. I feel ashamed because this is a really underrated Disney film. Not perfect by any means, but I think it's a movie that everyone needs to see. Now, this is a this movie's not that hard to find, really. It's on Disney Plus, and I'm sure there's like a DVD or a copy somewhere online. But if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's actually pretty underrated, and it deserves a lot more attention. I hope this movie does get a lot more attention and more praise over time, because it's definitely a movie that deserves to be seen to be believed. Well, I'm leaving.